Hello, welcome to your 36th C++ lesson, and this one is about structs. So structs are a lot like classes, and it's basically a data structure. So we're going to create a program for a food shop that sells uh, high, pri high price fruit. Let's go with high price fruit. So let's just type in before our main function struct, which is a keyword to create a structure, or a data structure, or a struct. And what we're going to do is type the name of our struct, which is going to be food. And then we're going to make some curly brackets. And at the end of the last curly bracket, put a semicolon. Oh, look, it's just like classes, as I said. Structs are a lot like classes. And then inside the struct, we basically want whatever we want our food objects to have. So I want my food object to have an int weight and a float price. So simple enough. Every food has a weight and a price. And then in our main function, what we're going to do is create some foods. So we're going to have food apple and food pet. To be honest, it's probably better being called fruit instead of food, but you know, to be honest, a weight and a price is going to work with pretty much any food. So we have apple and pear, and all we're going to do is say apple dot weight equals 90, and apple, uh, but yeah, let's go with apple dot price equals 9.99, which is pretty expensive for an apple, but there you go. Pear dot weight equals 80 and paired up price equals 99.99 so the pairs are more expensive don't don't ask why they're just high high class pairs because you know these posh people with all the money they want the best pairs you can give them so for 99.99 you can just get the best pairs anyway now what we're going to do is we're just going to output the uh, apple weight the apple price the pair weight and the pair price so see out apple weight apple weight uh, turn the line apple price apple dot price ugh what am I doing there we go and then the line and why not enter the line again for formatting and then we're just going to do exactly the same, but with the pair. So, pair weight, pair weight, pair price, pair price. So, all we've done, so the apple weight to 90, the apple price to 9.99, the pair weight to 80, the pair price to 9.99. And remember, all the food objects have the weight and price, because in our food structs up here, we've said we want an int weight and a float price. So let's just debug this. It should just output the weight and price values that we've assigned. So apple weight 90, apple price 9.99, apple weight 80, pair price, sorry, pair price, pair weight 80, pair price 99.99. So structs are really useful because you can have different variables applied to different objects. So they're really a lot like classes in a lot of different ways, and they are, as I just said, very useful. So that's the end of this lesson, and have a nice day.